Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Here in front of you you see 2007 Toyota RAV4. This one is a four-wheel drive version and it came back for some service. I just finished engine oil change. I will be putting new cabin air filter. All right. Interesting black one. But the main thing which I want to show you is automatic transmission fluid flush. Now this one's easy, very easy, because we have the dipstick, right? Here is the engine oil dipstick and here is the transmission, automatic transmission dipstick. But look, there's something written on it. Let me read it for you. Notice no need to replace ATF under normal driving condition. Transfer fluid for four-wheel drive is different CD owner's manual when replacing. This RAV4 has 214,000 miles on the odometer, so will you trust the factory directions, right, the, the direction so if they drive it under normal conditions that you don't have to touch it well i tell you what i want i already inspected last time right this automatic transmission fluid it's really bad dirty and that's why i recommended the flush so you know what let's disregard the sticker <laughs> let's go for it and replace that fluid so I start with slightly pulling that dipstick out, right? You can completely pull it out. I'm just trying to make opening, right? For that fluid, drain as much as possible. The fluid will drain if I have it in this position. Now I will raise the vehicle and get underneath it. RAV4 is nicely in the air, ready for our service, right? So what we got here? This is automatic transmission pan. And here you have that drain plug. This will be the engine oil pan, right? With engine oil drain plug and engine oil filter. It was just replaced as brand new oil. So what do you say? Shall we open this, let it drain, catch it in this clean container and we will evaluate if the turta was right so it doesn't need to be changed or we are right flushing it. Let's go and do that. To remove this drain plug, you need the hex number 10. You see that detail? Now you see the detail. Perfect. So this is what you use. And we are catching it for two reasons, right? Number one reason is to evaluate and to see if it's true. Oh my God. I'm sorry for my spontaneous reaction yes i knew i knew it's black it's really bad so one reason right evaluate i also want to measure it right i want to measure the volume not that we need it we don't need to measure we have a dipstick right so the dipstick will do the final measure and put it on the correct level for us but I want to measure it to compare it because the owner's manual, if you have this vehicle, says that it will get out 3.7 quarts. That's what will come out regarding to Toyota. And that's obviously not complete amount of transmission fluid in the entire system, right? The manual doesn't say, but it will be probably 8 quarts, close to the 8 quarts from the other cars, other Toyotas. But this one, we supposed to get 3.7 quarts approximately, which is which we just want to confirm if it's true. And it makes it easier when you are filling it, so you roughly put it in and you are very close to the correct fill. I will try to zoom on it for you. And this is basically it regarding opening. In this case, there's not that overflow tube, right, which you see in the sealed transmissions which doesn't have a dipstick right you will have to take another hex and remove from inside the overflow tube but 
here in this case that's it this is the only procedure we need to do to drain the fluid and as you can see this is few minutes later and it keeps flowing out right pretty much this is not just small so in this case you better plan if you want to do it yourself you better plan you want to rush this in order to get as modes or as much as possible of the old stuff you can't be in a hurry and as i promised i watched the time for you so this is approximately after 10 minutes right here is the detail of the plug you can see the crusher washer which always should be replaced right so that's going back right now and it's not replaced and guess why because I'm doing flush and I will repeat this procedure twice there is more fluid than I was able to remove therefore I will fill it with this and then I will go for the test drive I will mix up the fluid and I will drain it one more time for now to be able to move on with our program here I will carefully tighten it not too much right I'm coming back as I said never over tight these things you know that you are you are experts guys so this will be for now and let's go and see that fluid I can't wait for you to see that it's crazy so you will be judged right is this needed or does this fluid look good to you it's really thick right it's heavily contaminated it's in very bad shape so you already see what belongs there right if you look on the owner's manual there is ATF WS I could take a sample again maybe to show the difference I always show you these samples of the fluid there is some so let's compare the color of it right this one was open the other one side not I hope you can see that right do you see how light colored is this one right and do you see how burnt it is so definitely you can get a picture even if you never saw my videos before and you just came to this channel you can see the difference this is really bad there's no question about it and it has to be replaced if you care about your vehicle and I promised you right that I will measure it so we also know matter of fact we don't have to it's not a sealed tranny but we want to know how much fluid came out right the manual and the glove box of this car says 3.7 quarts let's just compare it the Toyota doesn't say that's exact they say hey that's just orientation a rough estimate so here quarts it's touching exactly 3.5 mark so yeah with a little bit of left here in the pan right and so on that is pretty close 3.7 i like that so we just confirmed that they are spot on when you do drain and refill now some of you immediately will ask how you get that 3.7 quarts back in the transmission well it's easy here we don't need any special tools we will use this dipstick right so for that you need a really thin funnel what I mean with that the funnel tip should be very small in diameter right so it fits here and this one look fits so perfectly this is some hyper tough I might bought it in Walmart I have like 15 different funnels right as a mechanic you constantly shop for funnels so this one hyper tough perfectly fits in the dipstick let me show you the detail this one from this large size it actually has the smallest uh, diameter end right so you can see there 
it totally perfectly fits there it even stands by itself so this is wonderful and I will start carefully filling it right now and saying carefully I meant slowly if you will rush this you will make a big mess why because the dipstick tube is very thin so in this case again if you will start rushing you will spill it it will flow all around here you can't be too fast right so look how slowly I'm pouring this one quart right I rather I rather do it one minute longer then deal with the cleanup right now this funnel is really good it perfectly fits there so you got a picture right I will pour 3.78 and then I can go for the test drive I and now I will skip to what you should do if you ever try to do it yourself all right so if you put there what you got out 3.5 or you follow the factory 3.7 that's up to you you will go put this dipstick back right and you will go on the test drive you need to make this engine and the transmission and the fluids hot why hot well because the measurement it's more precise when it's hot on the operating temperature than when it is cold the Toyota gives you, I will show you the detail, Toyota gives you two lines, the bottom one is cold and the top one is hot. You can see how huge difference is in the expansion of the automatic transmission fluid, right? That really expands so much by the heat. What we know, it's more precise to measure it when it's in the hot range than in the cold so that's my recommendation to you always do these checks and you can make to do you you might need to do multiple because it will be a little bit low right so then you will pour a little bit more and again you will test in one more time the level of automatic transmission is extremely important so please get it between these two small lines and I better get going before the customer will come to pick up the vehicle, right? I do flash, so I will do it twice. So I hope you find this helpful. Be subscribed because I have more videos for you coming in future. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, my friend.